We were still exploring the secret facility located somewhere in the last part, but we finally met Paul, who, despite having the kill switch, is doing rather well. He did reveal that we are underneath Unaku HQ, which is good to know and will help us in our escape later on. After meeting our brother, Daedalus contacted us and finally gave us the door code to the exit to this facility. Before we skedaddle up to Unaku, we made sure to go back for Miguel, the lone NSF soldier back in the prisons. Paul also advised us to go ahead and talk to the various NPCs that we had talked to over the course of the game to see if they can be convinced over to our side. He also gave a critical piece of information on Anna Navarra, who is currently guarding the exit to the facility. Just like how JC and Paul have kill switches, mechanically augmented agents like Anna and Gunther also have kill switches, called kill phrases. He gave us the login and password to Mandalay's computer and Anna's computer, which enabled us to decrypt two words that are critical into shutting down Anna Navarra. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for Gunther as his isn't installed yet for some reason. We also visited Manderley and turned on our resignation. Once we made a topside, we found Jock at the helipad and off we go and Miguel is free to do whatever he likes. Only to get caught again. Wow. Alright, so we got captured. Kind of. There are no MJ-12 troops walking around the flight deck. Jock is trapped. We are trapped. His weapons don't work. So we got some work to do. But at least we're not in a jail cell. And also, welcome back to some more Deus Ex. We are out of New York now. And as the text pop-up said, we are currently in um, Hong Kong. In a secret MJ-12 facility atop the Verslife building, I think it's what it said, right? Well, let's get to work. Also, in the last part, we found a really good augmentation. The regeneration, um, uh, aug. If you happen to miss it, we max this augmentation out. It basically gives us great regeneration abilities, just like Wolverine. You know, Wolverine doesn't exist in this world, but you know what I mean. Now, unfortunately, we can't go through here. This door is locked. But we can get a key for it. Where is that key? Who knows? Let's go find it, shall we? There is a maintenance bot here, which is very, very handy. Thankfully, you don't need to use it. It's at 100% our barrel energy, so let's just ignore that. He said the flight deck control room is upstairs, and these floors are very, very loud. Downstairs is the barracks. Probably not a good idea to go in there just yet. There's probably guards down there, MJ-12 troopers. Don't want to mess with them yet, even though we probably could. We are decked out pretty well. Any guards up here? No, there is no guards up here. Can we go in this door here? It is unlocked, wonderful. And thankfully, there is a security terminal here. And these switches, Munitions Bay and Weapons Lock. And I can't seem to talk right now for some reason. That opens that. That's good to know. How about this? Oh, that doesn't work. We have to probably have to find another button somewhere. Let's do some hacking. And see what kind of things we can um, take control of. There's the elevator. That's probably the way out. I'll turn off the uh, camera and bypass the turret. Yep, I was right. That's the barracks. As it says right there. Looks like there's... We can zoom in, I think. I can just hold it down, that's great. One, two, three, four, and I believe five went into the bathrooms, I'm assuming. Let's turn that off. And reset... Can I reset this? I guess it just goes all the way back. And we got some... Guards here, two of them. It looks like one of them has a GEP gun. I don't know if you saw that, I can see it on my monitor. I should probably hurry up and, uh, do something. I turned the turret to enemies only. Now it's taking out those guards. I gotta log out. 
I completely neglected that uh, we won't have so much time to hack into a computer. So excuse me. Oh, I never, I never noticed this switch. I believe it opens that right there. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go back on the computer though. Okay, we have a little bit of juice in our icebreaker. That guard's still going. There we go. He's dead. Let's bypass that. And these guards are none the wiser that their friends up top just got murdered by their own turret. I think we can run up here. It's fine. We shouldn't alert any guards. Can I go in here? We can get a key for it. Let's go back over here, though. Because I forgot something. I remember this, uh, this map. I also forgot to click on this. To all flight controllers after the recent theft of the SH-187, we are reevaluating our security procedures, or prod procedures. That's funny. Until further notice, Deck 1 flight control has been sealed and troops ordered to barracks. If you need access to flight control, please see Tech Sergeant McKinney. Mackie. The recent theft of the SH-187. That's the SH-187 that Jock is uh, flying. Can't see it from here, though. There's a vent here. I'm going to go in here. I suppose Jock stole it. That's really, really bold of him. Ah, uh, there's a hazmat suit there. And there's a bot here. I'll go ahead and save. I already made a LP-14 save. I want to disable this bot, because you never know if it might become active. This. Let's get out of the way. Not a big deal if it hits us, because that's yeah, disabled. Make, making sure, because we can always get the maintenance bot and recharge there. That's what I wanted to do, but we're also going to go in this direction. What's in here? Who knows? That goes back out here. We won't worry about that. Not that many guards so far, is there? We took out two so far, and there's five in the barracks. So all in all, probably seven guards and at least one military bot that we saw. I'm going to go down there in a minute. Let's go over here. Careful down. technicians to the emergency room that's no good hopefully we don't have to uh do that hmm dangerous hazardous gas evacuate personnel before purging system we don't know the code yet so we gotta not worry about that right now let's go this way we can come back later that is an important part though but i'll mention why that is later someone's there i can hear you there's guards nearby Let's be careful. I like to be stealthy until we get caught. I remember this... Give yourself up. He sounds very, very close. Where are we exactly? We're probably reaching the barracks, right? Yep, this is the barracks. I don't want to go in there yet. I'm going the wrong way. I know this map, but... I don't know the ventilation shafts. Like one person said, the memorable parts did happen um, already up to this point, but there's still some great surprises later on in store for us in this game. Because this is probably one of the most memorable areas that we're going to come to soon. I'm also, where am I, Zach? There it is. I was like, where am I going? Aha, this is why I wanted to see another military bot. Well, we're going to have to disable this one because you just never know what's what might happen. So let's throw this here and get out of the way. That was close. Almost got us. Because I forgot to turn back the lights. Turn the lights back on. Alright, let's leave. And go back where we came from. And be careful here. Because I don't want to alert the guard again. I don't like doing that, even though that doesn't really mean anything. They only go into attack mode once they actually see you. Here we go. I'm out this direction. Oh, we already came from here, didn't we? This goes out too. Yep. Yeah, let's go back. That's probably the wrong way. I get easily turned around. Especially with the same visual style that you see around us. The same colors and everything. Let's follow the pipes. How about that? 
The pipes go to where those barrels were, I believe. I can even hear the gas in the background. We don't have the code, so we can't do anything here yet. Let's go to the mun munitions bay. Which is right here. We opened it, but we can also enter through, uh, through here. This is what we opened up by the flight control room up there. There's some rockets. White phosphorus rockets. Let's turn off the lights. There's also two multi-tools and a recoil mod. Excellent. I'll take that. We used all the recoil mods on the assault shotgun. So it's at minus 50%. That's the max you can get. And I believe the recoil also increases or decreases rather the more you have in your skill. We do got a ways before advanced though. So let's use this on, I believe. I know, should I use it on the sniper rifle or the pistol? The pistol has 0.27. And this one has um, 0.40. Let's go ahead and just use it on the pistol, I guess. Or just hold on to it. I'll think about that later. I don't know which weapon I use more, the sniper rifle or the pistol. I think it's the pistol. The sniper rifle I really only use a fair amount towards the end of the game. Munitions bay door key, that's great. Maintenance no, get a sh got a shipment of that experimental fuel, but this is scary stuff. Toxic six ways to Sunday. And while the emergency purge is de designed to shunt it into the basement tanks in case of a problem, the fumes alone could creep back up the ventilation system and put most of the facility out of business. Definitely lowest bid contractor work. Until I can get a hold of someone to fix this mess, I still have to temporary lockout on the purge. Valve 99871, that's a long code. Give me a ring at 443-2334-2388-123 if there's a problem. Huh. We can make use of those, uh, of that gas. We can also open this too. I'm gonna go back to where we came from. We're gonna use that code, 99871, if I remember correctly. And it's definitely this way, because I remember this area clearly. I'm gonna save just in case, also make a hard save before I do anything. And once again, I forgot to delete some of these notes. I keep forgetting to do that. All right, there we go. You just released poison gas into the lower levels. Find a hazmat suit or get out of there. We're also gonna turn on the environmental protection AUG. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Let's go back to the munitions bay. Just took a teeny tiny bit. We took nothing. Never mind. It looks like that environmental resistance AUG helped out a fair amount. Now, what did that gas do? You'll see in, um, in a little while. Let's go up here instead. We also need to go up to the roof first, to be honest. I completely forgot. Two guards are dead, so no need to worry about any enemies up here. Oh, hear that wind? Yep, we're in Hong Kong. Unfortunately, we can't jump over the roof because it's all barbed wired. And also our speed enhancement AUG, we only jump so high. We did put one enhancement AUG canister on it, so we can jump a fair amount. He's got a GEP gun, so if you neglect to pick up the GEP gun at the beginning of the game, or the airfield, or at Unaco, there's your other chance, and there'll be other chances later on too. He's got an assault rifle, we don't need that. We do need this. Swords. Interesting. They're carrying a, a crate of swords. I'll show what this looks like. A rather nasty looking sword it says, let's equip that. Looks like that. Looks pretty cool. He also puts it away very interestingly, like that. I'm going to drop it though, because I have no need for it at all. Not much up here though. Let's leave. Kind of have no need to get up here. Next is the barracks. If I can find the way, here we go. I believe all the guards have been taken out. Just in case. Yep. One, two, three out here. Four out there. Yep. There's probably one more. Yeah, he's right here. That's funny. Alarm panel. Oh, 
I see one coming this way. Is he gonna come into the barracks? If it's really Denton, one of us is going to get a promotion. I don't think so. I mean, your guys are dying left and right, and you haven't ca caught us yet. Well, that's one down. This Just is takes one lucky shot. Yeah, about that. Rest in peace. And all the guards have been taken out. These two are the only ones alive. And their bosses are probably not going to be too happy. In fact, I bet their boss is Walton Simons. If Walton Simons catches them alive, while the rest of their platoon is dead, or squad rather, they're probably going to get executed because that guy's ruthless. That's the SH-187 helicopter specs if you want to read that. And this data cube says all Hong Kong MJ-12 personnel. Hong Kong is a unique environment for MJ-12 personnel and provides a number of challenges that all members should be aware of on a daily basis. Currently, only tenuous ties exist between MJ-12 and local authorities, though MJ-12 is working to resolve that situation. And consequently, police and security cannot be expected to understand the special nature of MJ-12's charter. Agents, operatives, security, and other personnel should adhere closely to the confidentiality guidelines outlined in your handbook. One key factor in police response is the use of acoustic gunfire sensors scattered throughout much of Hong Kong. Cheap and effective, these sensors use DSP circuitry to alert authorities to non-suppressed, i.e. not silenced, gunfire. This enables police to quickly minimize threat situ situations in an efficient manner. While these sensors can be disabled, Central Operations does not recommend this course of action, but rather a considered evaluation of any tactical situation to avoid local intervention. Do these guys have anything? Tranquilizer or darts? Lovely. And nothing else. Let's do a little bit of exploring. There's some stuff around here. They have schematics of the assault rifle in the shower locker room. Anything in here? Ah, candy bar. I'll take that. I'll say no to the cigarettes, though. This requires two lock picks to open. This... Just a fire extinguisher in there. We don't need that. Just clothes in there. A med kit in here. There's the showers. And you can turn these on if you like. Take a quick shower if you like. We're not going to because we're wearing clothes. Ah, newspaper. Bunaka responds to terrorist attack. New World Press, New York City. A terrorist strike on Liberty Island was blunted this past week when Bunaka forces moved swiftly to neutralize the threat. The attack, the result of a poorly organized attempt to break security at UNACO headquarters by the National Secessionist Forces, NSF, was characterized by one unidentified source as a futile gesture. Walton Simons, director of FEMA, worked closely with UNACO to coordinate both US and UNACO forces in a joint operation to root out the remaining elements of the terrorist network in New York. Terrorism, terrorism is very much a snake that slithers out of the tall grass, said Simons. It is our responsibility to always remain alert to the danger presents, and to act decisively when it appears. Authorities are currently attempting to locate Reuben Gray, one of the terrorist leaders who escaped in the aftermath of the attack. Hey, that's me. Using my real name instead of my code name, it's funny. Nothing in these stalls, though. Urinals. Uh, pillows. And I'm gonna open these... In fact, I wonder, can I just blow these locker doors up? The answer is no, I just wasted my bullets. I don't like doing that. I wanted to experiment. We could use lock picks, but I'm... We got plenty of lamb grenades. Well, we got six. I suppose I'll use... Now let's just use... Uh, let's go upstairs first. There might be more lock picks up here. I like to use lock picks if there's some in the area. This soldier has a picture of a woman here. I can barely see her face, though. Can't see her nose. But you can look at that if you like. I'm gonna just move on. Ah, it's some money. 100 credits. We also have munitions bay door key. We don't need that, though. We don't need that pepper gun. We will take the cartridges for no reason. I do that. I pick up ammo that I don't need, you know? Okay, I can't open those. There's a chair here. Another... Picture of the woman, if you want to look at that. There's also a nice painting here. And, okay, looks like might be a good idea to... There's a sniper rifle under the bed. That's nice. Can I take the sword? No, I cannot. No reason to anyways. 
With a high low tech skill, which helps your melee skill and the augmentation that enhances your melee skill, you can use melee weapons to open up doors, um, depending on the percentage of the door strength. But we're just going to throw a grenade here. I think if I can just... Uh, let's be a little careful. I don't want to waste this grenade. Let's see if that gets everything. It definitely got everything. It's a, big, it's a big radius. A trophy. For what exactly? Who knows? There is a flight control dex code key here. Cigarettes. Data cube. I'll pick that up in a minute. Some more money. 50 credits. And one multi-tool. Lots of multi-tools in this uh, facility, but no lockpicks. We had another one of the locals attempt to hack the security keypad on the elevator. Looked like a kid this time. He did a pretty good job of staying out of the surveillance field. Anyways, Nicole managed an override before he got in, and she reset the code to 989. Hopefully that'll keep them out until we can get more security on the entrance. Let's go to that other locker. If there's nothing in here, then I'm gonna just reload, I guess. Two lockpicks. It kind of teases you when you have train skill. You have 5% left. It's like, I wish it would just require one lockpick in that case. Anything cool in here? A gas grenade? I'll take that. Two lockpicks for one gas grenade. Now we have 10 of them. Oh well. We do have plenty of lockpicks. We just used two. That's okay. Let's go back to... Let's get out of here, actually. We got the key. Jock would be really happy to be back in the skies. Here we are. We got 75 skill points. We got another security panel, which probably just accesses the same uh, cameras and all that. Answer is yes. Let's not worry about that right now. And let's get Jock out of here. All right, let's do that. Fire in the hole. Oh. I have to get clear. Head for the exit, and I'll link up with you when I can. You destroyed the maintenance bot. Oh man. Well, it's no big deal. We have 83% and a lot of bio cells. And it's a good thing we disabled those. Military bots. Otherwise, they would have come out and shot us. And that MJ-12 soldier is going to forever stay in the sky. Somehow, it's kind of funny. His head's probably still touching the edge, which is probably why his body's not falling down to the floor. All right, let's get out of here. That alarm was short-lived. He also blew up the vent here. Oh, and there's these electrical arcs. Let's be careful. Three tools. Okay. No biggie. We can use them. Then we'll go back and pick up the other multi-tools. Make sure not to move the cursor too much when you do this. I know, duh, right? Because if you move away while you're hacking, um, you're gonna waste the multi-tool. Now there's two multi-tools down here, I believe. Yes, there is. One, two. And I'll go ahead and get one back at the uh, barracks and off we go. All right, I got all of them. Let's leave. One seven five skill points. I'll take it. Wan Chai Market. Okay, you need to find Tracer Tong. He used to drop Paul off in a small compound east of the market. You could start there. Don't lose any time. Your kill switch is twelve hours old. If you die, our plans will fail. Locate Tracer Tom. Alright, freedom, finally. Fresh air, kind of. We still seem to be in a uh, facility somehow. But at least we're not in MJ-12 facilities anymore. We're not a prisoner. We are now a free agent. We're no longer working for Unaco. Our enemy is currently MJ-12, Walton Simons, 
And I was going to say manually, but we, uh, we quote unquote killed him. Well, he ran into my lamb. Anyways, it's his own, it's his own fault. Many fine restaurants buy the meats from me. Have you listed the lucky money, for instance? It's below the marketing wall. <sighs> Got a note. How you doing? Watch where you're going. Okay, goodbye. So we gotta find Tracer Tom, but we're also gonna talk to a lot of NPCs in this area. In fact, I'm not sure if there's gonna be much action from this point on, for the rest of this part at least. All the action that we... that we have done was currently back in that facility. Hand-pended China. Very authentic. I have no interest in any of these. Do you know where Tracer Tong is, lady? No? Did you like? Let's get out of here. Shopkeepers are honest. You will find a good bargain here. Chinese military police, Officer Tam. Don't piss off the police. I think we can hack this ATM though, and they won't get mad. 300 credits, I will take it. I'm just withdrawing some credits from my vacation here in Hong Kong. No suspicion at all. Don't deprive me of any problems. I will. We currently have 7,094 credits. I suppose I go ahead and use, uh, this on something later. I just don't know what. We have rooms, so no need to work, no need to worry. I work for the butcher too. Everybody in Wayne Chai Market. I have made other arrangements. I never fall asleep. I am one of the best watchmen. No no no. I don't work with a voice. This is a bad market. Lots of bad people. Go. Huh, wonder what's going on there. Rules are tire wars. Red Arrow versus Luminous Path. What do you think of the Luminous Path, Triad? Cowards, soon to be gone. They have to steal weapons because they have lost the traditional arts. What kind of weapons? They murdered the Red Arrow leader to get the sword he invented. How do you invent a sword? It uses modern technology. I pay the Red Arrow even though the Luminous Path compound is 50 meters away. Ah, that's good information. That's where Tracer Tong is, probably. Let's check some of these... Uh, newspapers. Canal Road Tunnel Collapse. I might read this. Hong Kong Standard. Explosions rocked the Wan Chai District two days ago as fighting between warring triads resulted in the cave-in and flooding of the Canal Road Tunnel. Road Tunnel. Effectively halting almost all access to and from the Wan Chai area. While the fighting occurred in the early hours of the morning and traffic was light, a number of bystanders were trapped during the fighting and subsequently presumed dead. The names of the deceased have not been released at this time. Police have barricaded the area at the Wan Chai Terminal and forbidden any access until a thorough and forensic analysis can be made and the bodies removed. In a statement released earlier today, the police declined to name any suspects, though Chief Joey Lung expressed that the rep reprehensible nature of this crime will not go unanswered by the Hong Kong police. That's actually important information, the Canal Road Tunnel at least, the collapse of it. Gray death cases misdiagnosed. I uh, probably won't read this one, but you uh, can if you like. The title is probably accurate. Most people read the headlines anyway and just comment in forms, don't they? That's like a really common thing. Uh, me included, I'm not, uh, um, not saying I'm exempt from that. You can also read this if you like, it's not very, much important information to the story or anything. I think next step is to... Two? Yes, a little something to brighten up the line. Listen to these two. Versa Life? How can you tell? Is my hair turning blue? Versa Life has done much to revitalize the community. Well, they're always hiring. I guess that's something. I will wrap them up. No, no. I can manage. Later works at Versa Life. Very good. Thank you. It was Peggy. Please, look around. Peggy Bundy? No, Peggy from Versa Life. Also some soy food behind here. I never opened this door here, this barricade. Because there's not much behind there. There's a military bot, and you may notice it has a Hong Kong flag on it, which is a pretty nice little detail. I actually don't know if that's from the mod or from the base game. Uh, I can't remember. There's a police station. Hopefully we won't have to go in there for any reason. There's also a temple here. You can go in and explore if you like. Look at that volumetric fog. Very, very nice. I can't go through that direction. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Yo, Hawk. 
Unfortunately, many other Buddhas in Hong Kong. I was gonna say, if he only spoke Chinese, JC doesn't understand Chinese. You know, it feels like he could probably learn Chinese with every neuron in his head augmented, but I guess that wasn't required at the UNACO Academy. But you would think so, because it seems like agents get deployed to Hong Kong, but probably just an oversight. You're next to the compound Paul used to visit, but I don't know who it belongs to. I think I'm clear now. Good thing the NSA invested in stealth technology. That's good to know, Jock. Well, let's go over here. He said no. Impossible. She said she has made other arrangements. That at Otto? She was very rude. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Don't waste any time. The kid's name is Louis Pan, it seems. Let's talk to this uh, shirtless fellow. My brother's name is Paul Denton. I heard that he was a frequent visitor to this compound. Do you know him? The Rumonos path is close to Guaylos. Paul is no friend of the West. My name is Gordon Quick. I know your brother, but you are not him. They say you are royal to Unatko. I was, before Paul showed up in New York. A day later, I was helping the NSF. You want me to take your word? You are in Hong Kong now, and we are businessmen. Paul earned our trust by working with us. I don't have time for games. No games. We would like another ally like Paul. The tryouts are at war thanks to a woman named Maggie Chow. A sword was stolen from the Red Arrow Triad, and Miss Chow started the war by blaming us, the Romanus path. Why is one sword so important? It is an extraordinary sword called the Dragon's Tooth. Nanotechnology developed by the Red Arrows for Morita before he was murdered. We know that Chow is a liar, but we have no proof. I'll go speak to her. But first, I need to find a man called Tracer Tong. I need his help. Mr. Tong deals with businessmen, not beggars or strangers who might be spies. Chow lives at 1313 Tonoji Road. Be observant. Find and examine that sword. It is the evidence we need. I'll help you against Miss Chow, but then I'll need to see Tong, or I won't be your ally for more than about 12 hours. Well, we can't see Tong yet, unfortunately. Darn it. Huh. Even if you know the code, I don't think it'll work. And I think I know the code. It's been a while since I played this. A year or two. Maybe three years. Two or three. But anyways, hopefully 12 hours is enough time. But it's not like you're on a time limit. Just so you know, if this is your first time watching this game, you never played it, just know there's no time limit during this part. Even though we have a kill switch on JC Denton, he has a kill switch, I mean. You can still use your augmentations. It doesn't really affect your uh, gameplay. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. It'd be actually pretty cool if during this section that some of your augs randomly don't work, or they just shut off uh, on random if you try to use them. Um, I thought that'd be a pretty cool detail, but unfortunately the kill switch has, it's just a plot device. No, uh, what do you call it? No stress involved, no tense thoughts about it. What happened here? Go away. Oh, okay. Many publications. Watch your internet. Have you heard of Maggie Chow? A former actress. Well respected. She gives a lot of money to fight drug trafficking and illegal trade. That's all you have to say? Maggie Chow, exclusive interview in the Oriental Daily News. Tell me about the Red Arrow. What do you think of the Red Arrow triad? They will control all of Wen Chai in a few weeks. You sound certain. The fighting is not going well for the woman as part. Interesting, like, we work for UNACO, a legit, not legit organization, but you know what I mean. Now we're going to be working for gang members, triads. Such a crazy little market. Hello. Perhaps a present for your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Let's just leave. Probably no time to have one with if you're a UNACO agent. I did it. I did it. Did anybody see? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't matter. We got her payment plus interest. Get back and see if she runs something. I like to see okay. these little dialogues play out. But anyways, I think we gotta go to Tonochi Road. We also got an image, by the way. Gunfire sensors right here. Century Plaza, Hong Kong. That's what they look like. 
Let's just exit out of that. That leads to Canal Road, if you saw that sign right here. We're not going to go there yet. We're going to go to Tonochi Road, which is right... As the sign says, it's right over there, but first, I forgot something. Let me go up here first. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? We already have an arrangement with the Luminous Path. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? I will not be threatened. Don't think your Luminous Path can protect you. Get out, now! As you wish, but don't be surprised if you don't pass your next inspection. I know people on the health board. They can't be bought. Perhaps, but they're just like rats. Huh. Oh my god. They are everywhere. We will be patient while the cleanup mess. You can be serious. We would our family never were to leave so soon. Rats. That's no good. Welcome to the Ranch IT house. Anything you like, 12 credits. What do you think of the triads? Don't talk to me about triads. They give you a lot of trouble. They are punks. Talking all the time about community and traditions, then they fight over technology from a multinational corporation like VersaLife. How do you know that the sword came from VersaLife? It has nanotech components. It is self-sharpening or something. I wish they would use it to chop off each other's heads. Huh. <laughs> always makes you laugh when he says that. Please. We're having a discussion. We had the Jiao Si. Very good. We have I no time to eat. It. I've got to get off here. They will kill the rats. Not a problem. You know, I think I tried killing the rats on my own a long time ago as a kid to see if that made any difference here, but I don't think it does. I'm not even going to bother doing that. Anything behind here? I never noticed this spot. Nope, just a utility cart. Disgusting. Yes, rats are disgusting. So let's leave. Right to discuss. Explain. A disturbance in the tea house. Can you overlook? 100. No injuries, only a prank. 100. I have 55. 100. 65. Okay, 65. Huh. Yeah, just bribed a guard right in front of us. I do not recognize you. I'm just a, uh, just a tourist. I cannot make deal with strangers. Please, do not interfere in my business. Alrighty then. I think we're ready to go to Tonochi Road. Where'd that red triad arrow gang member go? Here he is. My own business. Alright. Yeah, a dog, look. And a cat. Psst, psst, psst. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go to Nochi Road. We got business to conduct. We And that's it for that. I just like seeing that. Um, down here goes... I won't spoil it. This is the Verse Life entrance, though. If you didn't know from the sign. We don't have the code, so let's ignore that. And the music's gotten very... Very low now. Got two guards there, two cops... Take a little look, see. This is actually one of my favorite areas here. You can explore this entire area if you like, but we're gonna go to Nochi Road uh, immediately, I believe. Say hello to these guards. These cops, Not I mean. Advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. This game has iconic voice acting. Come by in the morning. Sampan rides. Five credits. Huh, it's cheap. What business do you have here at this hour? I'm just on my way to meet Maggie Chow. I said, not safe. Go home. All right, let's leave them alone. So, Nochi Road, Wan Chai District, and the guy's running towards us. What do you want? You are an unfamiliar face on Tonochi Road. I'm here on business from Gordon Quick. You are here to speak to Miss Chow, perhaps. Half a block down on the left. Thank you. The woman is a snake. Believe nothing she says. I feel like we're in a trust nobody mentality right now, except for... I was going to say Paul, but he actually wasn't trustworthy. He lied to us in the very beginning. For good reason, but still. I myself have been watching Ms. Chow. She just met with Max Chen, leader of the Red Arrow. You say anything else? You may go about your business. We had an agent in the building across the street, but he left for business in the United States. Huh. Do we know that agent? Don't let yourself be fooled. Let's leave. 
Oh, a cat. Stray cat. I bet you come from the market. That's where I want to go. We did. This must be where Maggie Chow lives. I was considering going in that direction or going in here. Let's go in here. Welcome to Queen's Tower. Hey, how's it going? You may use the residential directory computer if you know how. If I know how. How patronizing. It's not like we don't have master and computer skill. I can hack and train all your funds in your bank account, guy. Seven Ford is closed for renovations. Oh, that's a little bit of a pause there, he said, wasn't it? Party leader Zan. Zan? What is this? Barter's Gate? That was a companion in Barter's Gate 1. I was much inspired by your speech to our local community resource center. I wish to do my part in helping ma to maintain a free China. As you said, there are many threats to that freedom both from within and without. It is with glad heart, then, that I am able to inform you of suspicious activities on the part of Dr. Tracy Fang. Dr. Fang has declared a number, on a number of occasions that he believes cases of great death are going untreated, a situation I cannot believe the party would permit, and has often been observed leaving at odd hours on what he declares to be family emergencies. I believe that Dr. Feng is a good individual, with the best hopes for Hong Kong and China at heart, and could thus benefit from counseling. Miss Chow was kind enough to bring this to my attention, and should be saluted for the many hours of entertainment and happiness she has brought to the Chinese people. Interesting. That's kind of... not something we need to read. Again, so I'm going to delete it, since I remembered. This must be the public access terminal he was talking about. Oh, let's use that. Oh, that was hard. Lobby, Pool and Fitness, Kit Lam Wei, Larry and Ling Wu, Tracy Fang. By request, this residence code has been made unavailable. Bobby Ryan, same thing. And this floor is undergoing renovations, as that guy said. This floor is currently undergoing renovations in our effort to create the most modern, comfortable living space possible for future residents. If you would like to examine the floor prior to leasing or purchasing a residence here, Please sign in with our on-site manager and use code 3444. The Queen's Tower cannot, of course, be held responsible for any accidents incurred during unescorted tours of the work area. And last but not least, Maggie Chow grants me access. Wonderful. We're going to go in there in a minute. I want to go in here. There's money in here. 50 credits. Plus some soy food. We'll take that. And a security computer terminal. Let's hack it. Alright, we got... We'll turn off that camera. We can also unlock that door, which I imagine is that. We'll turn that off too, and this off as well. Cover our tracks, I guess. And we're gonna go meet Maggie Chow in a minute. I wanna go back out here and talk to some NPCs. That's a big military bot here. You may notice that the coloring is different from the one we saw back at uh, the MJ-12 secret facility back in New York. Behemoth of a military robot. Maggie Chow wants to see me. I assume that's her hotel across the street? That is correct. How do I get up to see her? The main elevator. Maggie Chow would be angry if you arrived any other way. This is a dead end. I advise you to turn back toward the market. Let's ignore that and see what's around here. No, he was right. That's a dead end. No way to access anything, really. There's also another area we can explore. Through this, uh... Elevator. Let's go meet Maggie. After talking to these bums over here. I forgot about these guys. Hey, how's it going? You missed them. They left over an hour ago. Who left over an hour ago? Guess they're painting up there. Saw it on their boots when they came out of the alley. Okay, tell us more. I used to paint myself. Think they're hiring? Probably not if I think that's who they are. If I think... That's who they are. That, that's going on my head. I mean, to myself. Think they are hiring? I'm looking for a way into this building. Use front of building. Only try out use sidewall living back. Good advice. And that's it. So. Alley not safe. Stay in street. Yeah, we could go over here. This is unlocked now, but we'll go meet Maggie Chow. The normal way. Excuse my voice too, because my nose is very, very stuffy today. It's gotten worse halfway through this recording. Wait for the elevator to come down. There we go. Up we go. Yes. Now 
And here we are. It must be her maid. How's it going? I'm looking for Maggie Chow. You must be Mr. Denton. Miss Chow has been expecting you. She is waiting in the living room. Please follow me. Oh, okay. We have to follow her, and she's going very slowly. Let's take a look around. Big piano. I will accompany you. Like, JC didn't actually play with the piano as he went in here. That's just funny. Mei Sung. The floor coverings were made by hand in Tibet. It's very nice. Must be her right there. Take a look around. Very spacious. Uh, must be her. How's it going? Mother Chow, Mr. J.C. Denton. In the flesh. As dark and serious as his brother. You know who I am. And Paul? You know my brother? Intimately. Call me Maggie. Paul never mentioned you. That is why he is still alive. He can keep a secret even from his own brother. But why... Paul told you about Majestic 12, correct? The conspiracy behind you, Natko? Just the name. Majestic 12 sent Paul to murder the former Red Arrow leader. And me too. And he double-crossed them? Rest to say, I persuaded him to join our side. What does Majestic 12 want with the Red Arrow? We are winning the Triad War against Majestic 12's ally, the Luminous Path. We were developing a new technology. You might have heard about a sword? The Dragon's Tooth, right? The Triad settled disputes in contests of skill, which includes the crafting of weapons. The Dragon's Tooth would have made us unstoppable. So Majestic 12, they're trying to tip the balance, give the Luminous Path a technological advantage. Exactly. I try to warn the people of the danger. And the Luminous Path calls me a liar. The police have all the evidence they need to settle this. Locked up in the station at the Wan Chai Market. But they will not act. Go and see. I know the code to their vault. 87342. It's only fair to tell you that I spoke with Gordon Quick before coming here. I thought he was a friend of my brother's. I agreed to visit you and learn the truth of the situation. Yes, you were seen. The new Red Arrow leader is Max Chen, and you don't have to go to the Lucky Money for him to know your activities. Now tell me about Paul. Why did he not return? Paul's on his way to Hong Kong. I don't know when he will arrive. Then you must think for yourself. In Hong Kong, the truth is seldom kept in plain sight. Also, if Paul died... Yeah, prize Buddhas you will observe. This would be a line reflecting that. Thankfully, we kept him, uh, we kept him safe. From up here, the city is scenery. A mountain that never changes. But everywhere the sands are shifting. We cannot know who to trust. The police, even our own families. I could look around, try to learn something about the Luminous Path. All the necessary evidence is at the police station in Wan Chai Market. If only the police would act. You're feeling the it too, right? The were made by hand in Tibet. There's something not right about Maggie Chow. The Luminous Path are easy prey. All Majestic 12 must do is wave some money under their noses. Has anyone ever told her that you look like... I will accompany you. Just like our old co-worker who uh, we just sent to retirement, Anna Navarra. Um, Copy-pasted assets. We must expose the conspiracy behind the Luminous Path. Then they will fall apart from the inside. Maybe even a clue because Anna was rather cruel. And she probably is too. When your brother arrives, please tell him I have an important matter to discuss. Okay, let's look around. Also, I will accompany you. Um. Oh, I can't see it from here. Never mind. Let's go back. I think. And we can walk around too if we want to. I have no reason to go up there yet. I will accompany you. I guess she's gonna keep an eye on us. Also, did you hear that? That sounded like lasers around here hear that get away from there oh okay rates here well I guess we'll just go ahead and leave but if you stay here long enough let me accompany you to the door alrighty then I think we uh, overstayed our welcome but there's something not right about this apartment or this penthouse so let's just go ahead and leave we'll come back here later also 
you still have multiple avenues to approach. You can investigate her home further and piss her off. Or you can go to the police station. We're going to go to the police station because... Um, actually, it's not really necessary. But there might be some items we could use there. Police stations always have items. Before we go there, though, I'm going to go over here. That's going to be the next part. I want to explore this part first before this part ends. I said parts a lot, didn't I? All right, up we go. I saw something there. That was a skull, I think. No, I think it was a skull. But there was an agent working across the street from Maggie who was sent to the United States. Could that be Jock? It might be Jock. That's not a coincidence when they put that stuff in the script. Either Paul or Jock, because uh, Jock is working with Paul. And also, I'm going the wrong way. This is the rooftop. What the deuce was that? Not paying attention. Where's the... Here we go. There's a door there that's locked, though. That's the exit. My memory is fuzzy on this part, so bear with me. Here we go. We don't have a key for this door, unfortunately. And that door is kind of important. In fact, that part, that apartment there, I wasn't too, I wasn't aware of until many years ago. Definitely not my first playthrough. I missed a lot of my first playthrough as a kid. So let's go ahead and save and jump down here. We're gonna take damage a little bit. That goes back in there. Let's jump over there. We gotta save again. May want to make a backup save just in case something happens to us. Speed, I think we need. Jump. Yep. I'm not even gonna give you guys the satisfaction of seeing me uh, die like that. Can we just use regular jump? I changed my mind. I wanted you to see that. Let's go back. Try again. Right, this may take a while. Because I'm always... I'm really bad with jumps, you know? Try number what? Five? Four? I lost count. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Probably didn't even need the uh, augmentation. There's a sniper rifle here. Some bullets that we don't need. And binoculars. What was this guy looking at exactly? Doesn't look like anything. The hotel's over there. You can jump up here if you like. We're gonna do that. Or climb it rather. Is there more there's more stuff up here? I feel like a bird climbing up in the, uh, this this high up. It's okay if we take damage because we got regeneration skills. Or augmentation, rather. Looks like there's some stuff on that billboard. So let's try to get there. We totally missed, but thankfully we didn't die. Lost our legs, but we're still alive. Completely missed that. There we go. Just inch down. We got a bio cell, lock picks, and a flare and a 40. But while we're here, let's uh, use our regeneration thingamajig and heal up on our bio cell. Go. We can carry 30, which is a fair bit. Now, how do I uh, get down? I guess we jumped on there, so let's. This. Speed enhancement lets you absorb damage when falling. Also, if you're in an enemy territory, you can jump on someone's head with it and kill them. Which is pretty funny. There we go. And let's go back up to those uh, apartments. And yeah, I will skip ahead for this point.
I bet you come from the market. That's where I want to go. Change my mind. We're going to go back. Because I just remember where you get the key to that apartment. Literally just popped in my mind. We're going to go to the police station. See what's going on over for tourists to visit the canals at night. Over there. We'll uh, explore the canals later. I think after we go to the police station. It's not this way. That goes down to the lower levels. It's really fun exploring Hong Kong when you first arrive on your first playthrough. I kind of remember where almost everything is, though. It's like one of those things where you thought the game was just going to be set in New York. But then you come here to a different country. It's great. Right, the police station is right over here. I'm going to make a save. Also, another way to... To know you rode through there. Another path. Let's save. Right here. Go ahead and use the code. Oh, I, I know the code to this. There's a way to get it legitimately. And I'll go do that, actually. This part's almost over anyways. Got a few minutes. But I think that's enough time. Just be careful the guards don't see you. The cops, I mean. You see that there? There's some goodies in there. Multi-tool, biocell, and some other stuff. And I completely forgot how to uh, get it there. Well, let's just use a pick and crouch while you do it. I feel like sometimes when I'm in enemy territory, if I lock pick while standing up, that alerts guards. I don't know if that's intentional. So I always have a habit of doing it while crouched. But you probably want to be crouched in real life if you do it, I guess. But we're in. Get some stuff here. That's a sword. That is also not a sword, that's a baton. There's a secret comp uh, door here with a code that we're going to use a multi-tool on. Because I don't know the code. You can write down all these codes and save it for the next playthrough if you don't mind metagaming. And admittedly, that's, that's actually what I do sometimes. I've done it once already earlier in many parts ago. Multi-tool. Gas grenade we don't need. We got, we're maxed out on that. Uh, Lockpick. Another gas grenade. Prod charger and pepper cartridges. And a data cube. Lumped in, I've been watching the officers across the way. And with the help of a few high-powered optics and an infrared scanner, I managed to work out the code for the police station. 911. Wow, that's a terrible code. This is a lucky number for us, I think, and one we can sell. Which triad do you think would pay the most? Brother Zhang. I don't know, probably the path. Let's turn off the lights though, and recharge our bio energy. Grab this. I imagine they're not going to be too happy once we walk in there. But we do need that clue that Maggie Chow led us to. 